Hey everyone, how's it going? So I just wanted to make an updated video on the Tartarus gamepad that I picked up about a month and a half ago. I picked it up specifically so I could play Final Fantasy XIV on my gaming uh, laptop, and it has made gaming just a whole lot easier for me. And so I kind of wanted to show you the layout of the gamepad, as well as the setup I have in-game for it. I realize there's not a lot of videos out there on it, so in case you're considering buying one, I suggest you watch this and the other first impression video that I have of it. One thing that I did notice that the few videos out there, uh, and I, I want to let you all know this because people have been breaking these gamepads, please don't break it. Uh, they have a hard time adjusting it. Here in the bottom, this wrist rest, you can adjust it depending on how big your hand is. And a lot of people are breaking it, and so I, I don't understand why. So just to really quick show you, all you gotta do to adjust the wrist rest is you just have to pull it straight up and it'll snap out. And then that way you can adjust it. There's two levels. So if you have bigger hands, you put it on the lower level. If you have smaller hands like me, just leave it on the original level. To slide it, to put it back, you just slide it back and it clips in place. There you go. So don't break it, please. Just remember, if you're gonna adjust it, pull it straight up. So I wanna show you the layout of the gamepad itself. And later on, I'll show you the HUD layout I have in Final Fantasy. I have it like this so that it corresponds with the gamepad, so it makes my gaming experience a whole lot easier. And, and it has, I was super scared running uh, raid content with it, but it was actually pretty nice and easy because what's on screen translates really well to my gamepad. When you plug in the keypad, it automatically acts like the left side of a keyboard with WASD assigned to the 8, 12, 13, and 14 keys and the surrounding keys acting like the rest of the keyboard. The key that says 20 down here, that acts as your space bar. And then you have an alternative key here a directional pad and a, a scrollable wheel, which you can assign to whatever you want. I have it set up so that the scroll wheel is my volume. Uh, so if I scroll it up, volume goes up, scroll it down, volume goes low. And if I press it, it'll mute the audio altogether. As you can see, the top three rows are five keys with the bottom row being four keys. And then you have your space bar, which is at 20, like I said. This extra key is the alternative key. I ended up changing it. And so in game, it acts as the number nine. And I'll show you how I have it set up in game right now. I moved the directional pad to be my movement of my character. So that way it frees up keys eight, 12, 13, and 14 for abilities. And all my 19 keys are actually abilities. And so is 20. Now in game, let me show you what I ended up doing in game. So my HUD looks like this. Looks kind of weird, looks kind of funky. Uh, let me explain to you exactly what I ended up doing. So if you go to over here to systems, you go to HUD layout and you have access to this. I'm gonna leave the crossbar. I'm gonna move this out of the way because that's for controller players. So real quick, the main hot bars I have is hot bar one and hot bar two. To change the layout of the uh, hotbar, you're just going to hit this cog wheel, and here you can customize the settings. Now, there's no setting that replicates the keypad exactly, so you're going to have to make some changes. For hotbar one, I have this four by three setup. For hotbar two, I have this six by two setup. I found that these two setups work best with my gamepad and my mouse combined. I'll show you what I mean. On screen, my hotbar one is this lower bar. I have one, two, three, and four. These are my main rotation abilities. Directly underneath it, you have five, six, seven, eight. These are kind of supporting abilities or other attack abilities, depending on my class. It's easier for me to just move my fingers down and click that button. So that main rotation on the keypad equals to 11, 12, 13, and 14. That third row is where your fingers naturally rest. So I just thought it would be easier to leave my main rotation there, making it easier for me to click. The farther a 
keys. I've assigned support abilities there simply because my hands kind of actually have to move my hand to click those. My fingers aren't long enough to just reach up and click. Well, maybe these two fingers are, but the other ones, my pinky, definitely uh, it struggles to reach that number one key. So I try to keep support abilities up on the top row. This hotbar two is assigned with control number. You can change that in the uh, keypad software to do keystrokes. So you can easily type in control one. And that way, when you press that button, that control one hotbar will go off. So as you can see, my hotbar two goes from one to six and from seven to equals. And it's kind of tough because on the gamepad, it only goes up to one through five. So this is where I said my mouse comes in. So C1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 translates to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on my keypad. Now C6 is actually mapped to this top mini button on my mouse. And the command equal will be the bottom button of my mouse. C7 through C dash is that second row on my keypad. So C7, C8, C9, C0, and C dash equals to 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on my keypad. Now, this kind of translated um, well into my mind simply because I can look at these abilities and know what I need to click. And then that six and equals is good because it's on my mouse. Now, this isn't an MMO mouse. This is actually like a shooter mouse. I've been meaning to get an MMO mouse. I probably will, especially with the expansion pack. I don't know what abilities they're gonna be adding. So I feel like that uh, MMO mouse will be helpful in the future. Now, this very, very bottom row, there's no role for that in the gamepad. Instead, Remember that little alternative button I mentioned in the software? Well, that is my nine button. So when I'm moving around my character with a directional pad, I hit that button so that I can access that ability. The space bar ended up removing that and putting that to the key function of zero. So if I click it, my zero ability will go off. Now for healer, I kind of have this for quick reses. It's just easier as I'm moving, I can target a down person and just quickly move my thumb up and down to hit swift cast and res. For my tanks, I believe these are my stuns. And for my summoner, I believe it's my Bahamut, I wanna say, one of my summons. You can configure it however you want. I just felt it was a lot easier here just so I can move my thumb up and down to activate those buttons. As you can see, the loadout to the left, they really don't have any keys assigned. Maybe when I get that gaming mouse, I'll assign them keystrokes. But for now, this is just easy for me to move my mouse and click them to activate them. Here on this side, I really don't have much abilities. It's mainly my stance, um, shirt cast, things like that. Hopefully you found this very useful. I do plan on making another video on the keypad. It is very comfortable to play with very fun to play with. That's why I've been addicted to uh, playing Final Fantasy on my laptop. I really haven't touched it on my PlayStation because uh, it's just so cool. Like just having this in my hand, moving is so satisfying using that D-pad. Now, the reason I decided to go with the Razor Tartars and not that Final Fantasy tactical assault, whatever it's called, uh, is because that directional button here, it fits naturally on the side. So as I have my hand on it, my thumb naturally curves to it. So I'm able to move it on that D-pad and move my character the way I want it to move. That tactical assault one has joystick like straight up. And I guess you would have to use the side of your thumb to move it, which would be kind of, I don't know, I thought it would be weird moving my character right or whatever. And so I got really scared that I'd be in a raid and I would have to shift right and I couldn't uh, because of that awkward position. Now, other people are using it. I guess it works for them. For me, I really like the angle of the directional pad here on the Race of Tartars. So that's why I ended up going with it. Whatever you're comfortable with using, you go ahead and use it. It's all for the love of the game. I love Final Fantasy. So I just wanted to show you how I was using the Razor Tartarus. 
If you found this video useful, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. That will really help me grow this channel. I'm really trying hard to get Final Fantasy content out, especially for new players who have questions or just uh, people looking for the Tartarus uh, information. So you would really do me a lot of uh, help with just hitting that like button. All right. Thank you all so much. I uh, hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful day. Bye, y'all.